In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to code a 6WB digital cluster in an F30 BMW, which is going to take your dash from this to this. Now this video is for the person who already has a brand new 6WB digital cluster installed. If you don't know how to get to this point, we have a video for you linked below on our main Keys Motorsports channel. Now, before we get started with today's video, I do wanna say one thing, always get a new digital cluster. Do not get a used one. These are programmed to a VIN, and once they're programmed to a VIN, they can't be just coded out. All right, let's dive in. For this process, you're going to need three main items. You will need an Android-based tablet. Doesn't have to be fancy. I got this at Walmart. It was under 100 bucks, and it works flawlessly. Next, you are going to need a license to Pro Tool. This is software from a company called Beamer Geeks. It does coding, diagnostics, and so much more. It is pro-grade software that's designed for you to be able to use at home. And last, we're going to need a way for the tablet to communicate with the car, which is where the Keys Wi-Fi Enet adapter comes in handy. First thing you wanna do, flip it over and check out the network ID and the password. The password always stays the same. It is Keys, capital K, lowercase I-E-S, one, two, three, four, super simple. So start by plugging that in, then press that start stop button just one time to put your car in accessory mode. Next, what you're going to do is go to your Wi-Fi settings and you're gonna look for one that says keys and that's where you enter that password. Okay, here we go. Then I'll go back to Pro Tool. Okay, you can see here I have the interface as the ENET Wi-Fi selected and I'm gonna hit connect, hit connect. All right, once you're here, you're going to hit this button up here that says multi ECU and you're going to go over to the right in the middle where it says vehicle order. And then on the bottom right, you're going to hit edit. And then I always recommend doing a backup. And what I do for the backup, so I remember which one it was, I always put the date in. Today is the 19th. So I'm gonna hit confirm and that is good. Now, what we're going to do, this is basically the vehicle order. So this is every feature that is enabled or present in your vehicle. And we're gonna change it because we swapped out that cluster to this nice digital cluster. Now, what's really cool about this is this car is a 2013. This is tech from like 2016 and newer. So it's really cool to put such new tech in an older car. So what we're going to do is we are going to scroll down and look for the cluster. And you can see here I have a 6WA and I'm going to uncheck that. Then I'm going to go over here to base and I'm gonna scroll down and look for 6WB. Okay, 6WB instrument display. Then I'm going to go down here to actions. I'm going to save. And this is going to save the new vehicle order. And then what this process is going to do is it's going to identify any other computers in the car that need to be reprogrammed to allow this to work properly. Now, if you take a look at pre-coding, you can see that everything is in kilometers. Actually, if you look at my climate control, it changed everything to Celsius. Not really sure why. So it looks pretty, but it's not functional. When you start the car, nothing happens. It takes this, well, I'll just show you. So as you can see, the car is starting and running. I give it some revs and nothing. It doesn't show you the gas, it doesn't show you the RPMs, the coolant temperature, nothing. All right, so then you can see it has suggested coding. So we're gonna hit confirm and it has two items that it wants to code out. So we're gonna hit recode. Then I'm going to hit confirm. And then this is going to start the coding process. Now after this, there typically is one more step that we have to do. So this is gonna do a lot, but there's one more thing we have to do. All right, right now it is finishing up. Okay, the radio system coding is done. Now it's doing the other one. All right, great. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go back and then we are going to go down to where it says instrument cluster. There we go, under the cluster. Then in here, you're gonna scroll down to coding and then we are going to factory code it. Okay, factory code. We're gonna hit confirm. And basically what we're doing is we reprogrammed the vehicle order, which is all of the data that BMW programmed into the car. We're basically tricking the system in a sense and we're saying, hey, this car came with the 6WB digital cluster. So by doing that, we can tell the computer, hey, we need this factory coded to be able to work. And since we put it in the vehicle order, the factory code would make this functional. Clearing vehicle errors. Okay, everything is good. Let's turn it off and I'll show you guys live me turning the car on to make sure that everything is fully functional. 
Here you go, we'll do this in one camera shot. How's that? Yeah, baby. All right, so as you can see, everything is back to miles per hour. The radio is back to Fahrenheit and you have just fully coated your 6WB digital cluster in your F30 BMW. So as you saw, it is a super easy process that is completely doable from home with the right tools, and that is why we love Pro Tools so much. So once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys, DIYs, and Extras. Again, if you are interested in learning how to install a 6WB or you learn how to do other things on your BMWs, be sure to check out this channel and our main channel, Keys Motorsports, which is going to be linked for you down below. And for links to Pro Tool, the tablet, the cluster, the dongle, and more, check out the links in the description. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.